Naomi Watts British Actress Naomi Ellen Watts is a British actress. After her family moved to Australia, she made her film debut there in the drama For Love Alone. She appeared in three television series, Hey Dad, Brides of Christ, and Home and Away, and the film Flirting. Born, September 28, 1968, age 56 years, Shoreham, United Kingdom. Spouse, Billy Crudup, M. 2023. Children, Sasha Schreiber. Awards, Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture, see more. Height, 1.64 meters. Her loud scream. She often goes barefoot. Birthmark on her top left thigh. Roles in predominantly dramatic movies. Frequently appears in horror-slash-thriller remakes. Trivia. Moved in with best friend Nicole Kidman after Kidman's divorce from husband Tom Cruise. Daughter of Peter Watts, road manager for Pink Floyd until 1974. Enjoys martial arts and trained judo for a long time. She participated in amateur judo championships through the early 90s, from 1989 to 1992. Nowadays, she trains in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Had a horrific fall on the New Zealand set of King Kong, 2005. She fell from a height into a ditch, to the shock of the cast and crew. She thanked her rigorous practice of yoga for saving her from any permanent and serious damage. Best friends with Nicole Kidman since a casting call for a commercial when they were girls. Naomi Ellen Watts was born on September 28. 1968, in Shoreham, England to Mifanwi Edwards, Miv, Roberts, an antiques dealer and costume-slash-set designer, and Peter Watts, Peter Anthony Watts, Pink Floyd's road manager. Her maternal grandfather was Welsh. Her father died when she was seven, and she followed her mother and brother around England until she was fourteen and they finally settled in Australia, homeland of her maternal grandmother. When they arrived, she coaxed her mother to let her take acting classes. After bit parts in commercials, she landed her first role in For Love Alone, 1986. Naomi met her best friend Nicole Kidman when they both auditioned for a bikini commercial and shared a taxi ride home. In 1991, Naomi starred with Kidman in the sleeper hit Flirting, 1991, directed by John Duigan. Naomi continued her career by starring in The Australian Brides of Christ, 1991, co-starring Oscar winners Russell Crowe and Brenda Fricker. In 1993, she worked with John Duigan again in Wide Sargasso Sea, 1993, and director George Miller in Gross Misconduct, 1993, Tank Girl, 1995. In 1995, an adaptation of the comic book was a cult hit, starred Naomi as Jet Girl, but it didn't do at the box office or do much for her career. Watts continued to take insignificant parts in movies, including the much-forgotten film Children of the Corn, The Gathering, 1996. It wasn't until David Lynch cast her in the critically acclaimed film Mulholland Drive, 2001, that she began to become noticed. Her part as an aspiring actress showed her strong acting ability and wide range and earned her much respect, as much as to say by some that she was overlooked for an Oscar nomination that year. Stardom finally came to Naomi in The Surprise Hit the Ring, 2002, which grossed over $100 million at the box office and starred Watts as an investigative reporter hunting down the truth behind several mysterious deaths seemingly caused by a videotape. While the movie did not fare well with the critics, it launched her into the spotlight. In 2003, she starred in Alejandro González Inarritu's 21 Grams, 2003, which earned her what some say is a much overdue Oscar nomination and brought others to call her one of the best in her generation of actors. The same year, she was nominated for 21 Grams, 2003, Naomi was chosen to play in Darrow in director Peter Jackson's King Kong, 2005, which took her to New Zealand for a five-month shoot. Watts completed her first comedy in I Heart Huckabees, 2004, for director David O. Russell, playing a superficial spokesmodel, a break from her usual intense and dramatic roles she is known for. Naomi gave birth to a boy, Alexander Pete, Sasha Schreiber, in Los Angeles, with Liev Schreiber. 
Since then her career choices have gathered even more critical acclaim with starring roles roles in German director Michael Hankey's American remake of his thriller Funny Games, 2007, David Cronenberg's Eastern Promises, 2007, and the action thriller, The International, 2009, released in February 2009. In mid-2008, Watts announced she was expecting her second child with Schreiber and gave birth to her second son Samuel Kai Schreiber, in New York on December 13. Family. Spouse, Billy Crudup, June 9, 2023, present. Children. Kai Schreiber. Sasha Schreiber. William Atticus Parker. Parents. Mafanwi Edwards Watts, Roberts. Peter Watts. Relatives. Ben Watts, sibling. Trademarks. Her front incisor teeth. Often works with Sean Penn often plays dark and troubled characters who endure trauma from loss and suffering. She frequently plays a sensitive woman forced to adapt in response to extreme hardships. Her loud scream. She often goes barefoot. Birthmark on her top left thigh. Roles in predominantly dramatic movies. Frequently appears in horror-slash-thriller remakes. Trivia. Moved in with best friend Nicole Kidman after Kidman's divorce from husband Tom Cruise. Daughter of Peter Watts, road manager for Pink Floyd until 1974. Enjoys martial arts and trained judo for a long time. She participated in amateur judo championships through the early 90s, from 1989 to 1992. Nowadays, she trains in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Had a horrific fall on the New Zealand set of King Kong. 2005. She fell from a height into a ditch, to the shock of the cast and crew. She thanked her rigorous practice of yoga for saving her from any permanent and serious damage. Best friends with Nicole Kidman since a casting call for a commercial when they were girls. Quotes. Pain is such an important thing in life. I think that as an artist, you have to experience suffering. It's not enough to have lived it once, you have to relive it. Darkness is not a pejorative thing. There's a lot of skeletons in my closet, but I know what they're wearing. I'm not gonna act all ashamed of it on her early career. It was total naivety that got me to Hollywood. I thought it was going to happen straight away. I told myself, give it five years, there's no way I'll be here after that if it doesn't happen. Cut to ten years later. On set is where I feel comfortable. The red carpet stuff, talking about the film, explaining your own life, it doesn't come naturally. It's all necessary stuff I suppose, but it's not my strength. I find myself gravitating towards drama. It interests me. In the books I read, the paintings I like, it's always the darker stuff. For the record, I am actually British as well as Australian. People always think I'm Australian, but I'm happy for the Brits to claim me back. I'm offering myself up. Instead of thinking, how can I slow the aging process? I think, how can I bend the rules? Every year you add to your life, you're going to add a different experience to your face. Whatever is said about roles drying up, I intend to keep working. Certainly now the roles couldn't be more interesting, playing mothers, divorcees. I think it's going to be exciting to play a mother of teenagers. The longer your life, the deeper it gets. My mom put me in drama classes when I was about 14. I'd been going on about it for some time, so maybe it was a way to shut me up. We're so afraid of death in our culture, but I think if we understand it better, then we'll appreciate the life we have more. In response to 21 Grams, 2003. I've had people who've seen 21 Grams, 2003, say, wow, you're so brave to be looking like that. This shocks me. I think that's what an actor's job is. To lose yourself in a role. You have to make peace with yourself. The key is to find the harmony in what you have. Quoted in the February 1, 2005 issue of Woman's World. If I have to produce movies, direct movies, whatever to change the way Hollywood treats older women, I'll do it. If I have to bend the rules, I will. If I have to break them, I will. Even during my most intense scenes with Sean Penn, in 21 Grams, 2003, we found ways to have fun. 
Sure, I have my dark moments, but I'm the girl you'll see driving down the highway, singing to Blondie. It's always nerve-wracking to take off your clothes on film. But doing it with a woman felt safer than with a man. You know you can say, don't grab me there, that's where my cellulite is. After being asked if it was hard to do a love scene with a woman, Mulholland Drive, 2001. Salaries. King Kong, 2005, $5 million. Children of the Corn, The Gathering, 1996, $5,000. <laughs>